if he's ever in the same tournament I am, I would ask for different times. I never want to play with this person again. And I'm rightfully so. I almost put my hands on somebody and hurt them really bad. And it took, it's still, I'm still mad about it. I'm still very mad about it. I do a lot of like Buddhist stuff and stoicism and it really makes me practice my medicine. This is a very difficult time. Somebody accused me of cheating and I did not cheat. So I'm going to try to tell the story because it's pretty remarkable. It's pretty remarkable. Cheating in golf? Yes. I walk everywhere. That's important to know. I walk. I take my cart and I walk. Most people, most people are in a cart and they're driving. I walk behind an electronic cart. It's a shotgun tournament, meaning not everyone starts on one. You might start on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way up to 18. I'm starting on number eight. I'm trying to get there because the shotgun tournament starts at the same time. Mm -hmm. So everyone else gets in the cart, go, and they go to their hole. I said, let me get there early so that I can be there when they get there because I'll be slower because I'm walking, mm -hmm. right? They said, okay, Justin, you're starting on hole number eight. So they said, go down nine, and then eight's going to be there. Great. But they sent me down 18. Okay? So that's important. That they sent me down 18. By the time I got to 18, I looked around, and I'm like, 17, like... I, I called them and, and I, I looked on GPS and I'm like, no, I, I'm not even near eight. So I start running mm -hmm. with my car. It's an electronic car with a remote control. So it, it, if it goes over roots, it's bumpy, bumpy, bumpy. Anyhow, I go in the woods. This is important. This is very important to know right here. As I'm going in the woods, I cut through and there's eight, whole 18 here and whole six is here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cause they kind of run, you know, they juxtapose each other like this, right? It, so, Eight's going to be up there. So I'm running. My cart falls over. My band-aids fall out. Things fall out. I'm in a hurry. So I get everything up the best that I, I can. I don't get my phone because you know that I lost it that day. I try to pick up things the best I can. I, and, and I obviously don't get everything. But I'm trying to get to the eighth hole because they're already up there ready to tee off. And mm -hmm. like I'm, I'm, I'm eight minutes away, right? We get there. We start playing. We come all the way around to 18. Now, remember, they sent me down 18 and I had to go back up the other way, right, mm -hmm. to get back up on the other side of the course. So on 18, it's a dog leg left, meaning that the hole starts this way and then it goes to the left. Mm -hmm. Dog leg left. That's what that means. It's straight and then left and the hole's over here. I hit my ball into the woods on the right. Mm -hmm. So it went straight and then it went into the woods way down here. I hit, I hit it. I, I hit it a long ways, uh, but it's just, it was right. That's important to know. I go into the woods, I find my ball, because in golf, if you don't find your ball, you got to go back to the tee and hit a penalty. So then you're hitting three off the tee. My first shot would be one. Oh, I can't find my ball. You got to go back to the tee, hit third. I found my ball in the woods. It took two shots to get it out. Hit a tree. It was, I was like in the woods, right? Mm -hmm. So I took a double bogey on the hole. With a par five, I made a seven. So... It pars five, two over that, double is seven, double bogey. Okay, not a good score. I was playing with two other guys, uh, assholes. These, they, and I'll, I'll tell you why. Um, I wish I could mention this guy's name because I can't stand this guy, but I wouldn't do that. <laughs> class act right here, class act. Maybe he'll watch this and he knows who he is. We started on eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we still got to play one, two, three, four, five, six. We get to six. These people are playing, we're playing six. They go up over there near the woods and they see a ball and they just look at it. It has my initials on it. Because at the start of the round, I'm like, okay, I, my ball has my initials. You identify it, right? My ball has JM. They, they go over there. They discuss by themselves. Proper etiquette would be you bring me over there. Mm -hmm. But what they did is they're like, oh, you know, uh, you know, he must have cheated. Like that ball he hit on 18 way in the woods. This is it. He, he, he said he found his ball, but he didn't find his ball. It's right here. Meanwhile... On 18, I hit my ball way over here in the woods. The ball was found right here mm -hmm. on six, right? Because I was in the woods early. Okay, I'm trying to get to the point here. The point is they did not discuss this with me. If they would have, they would have brought me over. I would have looked around like, oh, there's my phone and here's my band -aid. It's like, obviously, my cart fell over right here. Mm -hmm. My cart fell over right here. This ball fell out of my cart. You know that I was trying to get to eight, and you know all these. You know I've been trying to find my phone because I told the guy running, I'm like, hey, if you find my phone, I can't find it, right? They tell the tour director he has a talk with me about cheating, and I was like, what are you talking about? I, I went immediately to my car and I got my ball. My ball has a black JKM on it. This ball has a faded JM, and and, it, and it's like that doesn't look like my writing, but that's not the that I, I, that's not my ball that I played off that hole, mm -hmm. right? I was fuming. 
fuming. I saw one of the guys in the parking lot and I just kind of had it. And uh, it was all I could to not put my hand. I really just, I really just wanted, I wanted, to, I wanted to, I wanted to hit the guy. And you wanted to Will Smith him. Yeah, but like the thing about me, and I'm gonna get to the, I'm gonna get to how I, I proved this. I go from one to ten very fast with guys, especially with guys. That's just I go from one to I go from this dude, and I will pick up the table and and be fighting. And the thing is, I don't know if it's the Irish in me or like all the boxing experience. Like I have a lot of confidence that I can I can put my hands on somebody, a guy, and like kind of have my way. That it's not a good thing. I'm not I was about to say how is that I'm, good. I'm not saying it's good. I'm just saying it's how I it's how I feel in that moment. I'm just like. Okay. I, I'm just like, I will fight this guy. It made me that mad. And some of you out there, it's like, I don't know if you just listen to the story. I was justified in how I feel because they did not handle it correctly. And the tour director said they did not handle it correctly by them having a little meeting over there and deciding that I cheated and then going to the tour director and telling him that I cheated. I get home that night. I can't find my phone. My wife says, um, why don't you go to uh, Google, find my phone? I'm like, yeah, find my phone. I type in my number and it shows where my phone is. There's a green dot. Where's the green dot? Right beside the ball that they said was mine. Mm -hmm. I get in my car. I go back over to the course. It's almost dark. I find my phone and I find a couple of the things there. And I'm like, oh yeah, this is where my cart fell over trying to get to play. Mm -hmm. They found a ball that fell out of my bag that they said was mine. It wasn't physically possible. This was about two weeks ago now, and it's, it's still something that bothers me because I saw the guy yesterday. I saw the guy yesterday. And I looked him up afterwards, and I shot a decent score yesterday. This guy shot a horrible score, and I'm like, <laughs> karma, dude. <laughs> well, I didn't tell you this or anybody this, but, but it's something that I was like, after this happened, I was just like, I'm very happy with myself for meditating on it and thinking about it and trying to forgive it and practicing some of the things that I believe in and just letting it like let it go. Like I, I know the truth. I thought about like I'm number one in my division, right? You know that, right? And this guy is not. And some people just like if you, they know that you're number one in, in whatever the flight is, they might be trying to bring you down, like whatever. Mm -hmm. And I thought about it in that way. But um it was really hard. I really wanted to put my hands on the guy. I wanted to fight the guy. That's not what you do as an adult. Like, you shouldn't do that. But that's what I felt I wanted to do. Like, I really was that mad. They they should not have done this. They did not handle it. It was disrespectful. It was rude. It's not good golf etiquette. It's none of those things. It's not like you're still mad about it. I mean, no. I mean, I'm, I'm passionate about telling the story because I haven't told it like this. But, I mean. No, but I mean, it sounds like you're still, like, like you still wouldn't talk to the dude. Oh, no. I hate him. No, I mean, what, what, why do I need? Why do I need? To I'm forgive? not saying you need to. I'm I can't just stand saying it. It's just sounds like you still would but, not. But the point about this him. person is, other people don't like him either. Oh. It's like there's, there's another club that I'm part of that he's going to be kicked out of because of bad sportsmanship and a temper. This is a guy who hits a bad shot and slams his club down and stuff like that. So it, it, what I'm saying is, it's not uh, a fun person who you're like, wow. A change of events. This is like a person who... That's, that's his whole MO. Yeah. I mean, some people watching might be like, you should have gotten over it or whatever. And it's like, maybe, but how would you deal with it? Somebody accused you of something that you Every, do not do. Everybody handles things so differently. I don't like the, you should have did this or should have did that. As long as you did not cross any line of hitting someone or whatever, however you handle it is your own. Right, and I handled it in a very good way. I emailed the tour director and I was like, I, I'm, I apologize that you have to be in the middle of this. I said, the thing, I don't ever want to play with this person again. If he's ever in the same tournament I am, I would ask for different times. I never want to play with this person again. And I'm rightfully so. Like, why would I, why would I ever want to play with this person again? Like, why? I never, never want to see this person again. I, I, I don't, I don't live in the world where like, you got to forgive, like whatever. Yeah, maybe I forgive for my peace. But I don't need to see this person again. I, so again, I, I'm not arguing about that. I've I've I just recently been there. So when they tell yeah. you who they are, then you got to go with it. But anyhow, guys, I know that was a long story, but it's pretty fascinating how Google find my phone proved that my phone was beside a ball that's my cues was mine. That was near the woods where I actually hit a ball. So it's a pretty fascinating thing. But I also to their to their credit, I tried to look at it from their situation. I was like, well, that is kind of a weird thing, like. You know, but the fact is they didn't bring me over to even ask if they would have. I would have said, let's find my initial, but here's the ball that I'm playing, mm -hmm. JKM. 
And by the way, um, I would have definitely have seen my phone right there. Yeah. And then they would have said, oh, your, oh, your bag tipped over or something, right? Of course. Anyhow, uh, I, see, I feel better just getting this off my chest, this unbelievable true story. And um, I'm going to work hard to even continue forgiving the situation and this person so that uh, I don't have you know, that energy within me and I'm doing better with it. And I like the way that I handled it. I was uh, an adult, I was classy and um, I talked to other people and they, they, they wouldn't have been as nice or as kind as I was. So 